Hello, this is Ling Chi, brush painting for beginner. Um, the winter is coming on the corner and uh, plum blossom season and also is one of the iconic uh, subject, uh, the last subject of um, Four Gentlemen, which is uh, orchid, bamboo, chrysanthemum, and plum blossom and today we're going to do um, um, plum blossom on pre-mounted paper I'm going to do on both uh, plain white and then also uh, mulberry and um, the we had somebody ask question about what the moisture control is very similar to double shun. Um, so it's not a difficult paper to work with. And then the color I'm going to use is our companion set. I only need a red and a darker red, two shades of red. And then keep everything simple. The other thing I'm using is the best bottle ink. The brushes I'm going to use is the Lotus Petal Flow Brush. The Lotus Petal is going to do for the trunk. And then the um, Happy Tail for the, um, the stain, uh, the, the, the inside of flower. And um, uh, the reason I choose Lotus Petal is um, a little bit has more body than the large flow. You can use large flow. This will give you more um, stability for the trunk. And uh, flow is a all time favorite for small blossom. And then a line brush, you can use happy dog or any of the small line brush. I'm having it here is, mm, base, uh, the happy tail. So I have three brushes here. And then um, the first one I'm doing on the mulberry paper and I will take my time to explain um, a little slower. And then the second one, I'm going to do it real fast on um, plain white pre-mounted paper. So this is a good um, um, way of doing quick subject for holiday gifts and uh, this one I cut the square one in half this one I cut the rectangular in fourth so I will have rectangular size so, so on the right this is the pre-mounted mulberry paper yes and then on the left is pre-mounted champagne paper, paper. bottle ink which is from Japan it's one of the good smooth no grittiness and give you good um,
variation. So I have wet my brush and then I the, the first layer I use um, a little ink, make a lighter ink and then tip the tip with a dark ink and then I'm going to do Then I will have bone stroke, a short one, a long one, and a short one, and another long one. And then I have a little short one to up. And going to put some happy dot here to connect this so the first flower I'm going to use a full I have two full flowers one on the bottom one on the top This is my blending brush. I'm going to load red. Tip with carmine. And a little brown to make it darker. And then carmine, a little bit black here, make it darker. So I'm going to repeat the same flower down below. So I'm carmine with a little brown, a little bit black, and blend. So give it darker center. And then I'm going to have a little small flower on the top, and here a little bud. And then on here, I have a half open flower here. And then I'm going to use the same um, lotus petal brush and go. Red, 
Okay, I'm going to use uh, the ink to hold the flower. I'm going to add some happy dot here. Like a knot for the branches. All right, I'm going to do another one on just plain pre-mounted shim paper. I wash my brushes clean so I won't be too deep so I can have some variation. On the side of dish, I have lighter ink and then tip with a darker ink. So. Then I'm going to do shorter, longer, shorter, and then the long, and then the tip up, and then on the top, I'm going to do. one and then from here red Carmine, a little bit brown, and a little tap of black, make it dark. So, This is a smaller bud here, and then smaller bud here, and then there is a dark center. Okay, so I'm going to use the Lotus Petal brush to kind of add some knot where I think need to soften it up. All right, and then now I'm going to use my line brush, go back to original um, mulberry and 
tip doing the ink to do the center of the flower. Only the two big ones. And then here is another one. The reason I waited until the last minute because I want to make sure that the flower already semi-dry, but not completely dry. So. And I'm doing the new one with the plain rounded paper. So I just suggest it a little bit. Doesn't have to be really in detail. And then the top one. All right, so this is an easy plum blossom on pre-mounted mulberry paper and shim paper. And happy painting. I hope you enjoyed this uh, subject. I'll see you next week.